Now the latest developments on the tornado tragedy in Oklahoma. Mourning for the 24 lives lost continues and the first victim's funeral was held today. The cleanup is still in the very beginning stages. Damage is now estimated at $2 billion, but there are lots of local groups who are doing what they can to help. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance is in Warren. The deaths and devastation in Oklahoma has left many Southern New Englanders wondering how to help. Well, you can through donations here at the Warren Fire Station. It's back to work for Warren Fire Chief Alexander Gallinelli, but this time... These gloves are very important. ...is for a different kind of task. Sending items to first responders and volunteers... To to help Oklahoma residents recover. It's one of those things you see it on TV and wish you were there for nothing else just to help out a moral support because I know they're going through a really tough time down there, especially the first responders looking to try to salvage anything they could to help the people out. That's why starting today, the Warren Fire Department is collecting donations. Items like flashlights and first aid kits are some personal items that Chief Gallinelli is donating himself. The chief says the New England search and rescue team asked if the firehouse could become the statewide drop-off headquarters because of its location. With confidence in his community, he accepted. They have hots of gold in a Donald Warren. Firefighters will collect items through Saturday morning when the donations will be sent. I feel very good and honored and proud to know that there's people out there who need our help and we're able to give it to them. Donations will be kept inside this garage, but starting tomorrow morning, a donated truck will arrive and volunteers will load it. Reporting with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Shantae Lance, Eyewitness News.